Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 863. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have a column of numbers. And we need to multiply each number times another number. But there's a condition. If we look over in the date column, so for this number here, we look over here. If this date is Saturday or Sunday, we need to take this number and multiply it by 15. If the date in this column is not Saturday, Sunday, we need to take this number and multiply it by 14. All right, so longhand, of course, we'd say equals this times, and we look over here, well, that's not Saturday or Sunday, so we say 14. Equals this times, and we look over here, well, that's Saturday, so I take 15. Equals this times, well, this is Saturday or Sunday, so I multiply it by 15, et cetera. Right, this one would be times 14. Now, in order to analyze a date, these are uh, dates in Excel, serial numbers. But we can use something called the weekday function. So let's go down and look at the weekday function. And what I've done is I've put some dates Monday to Sunday to see what the output of weekday is. Now, weekday, if you just, um, it's asking for a serial number. If I just put that and leave off this argument right here, see those square brackets? Anytime you see those square brackets, it means you can leave the argument off, and the defaults will come into play. What does it do? Monday's 2. Oh, weekday gives a number between 1 and 7, uh, sometimes other uh, numbers. But here it's 1 to 7, and Sunday is 1, Saturday is 7. So let's look at the second argument here. I'm going to say comma, and in 2010 there's this awesome drop down. Here's the one we want, 1 to 7, with Monday being 1 all the way to Sunday equals uh, 7. You can see sometimes it's appropriate to have Monday as 0, but and there's a bunch of other options. So I'm going to select number 2. You just type that 2 in, Control Enter, double click and send it down. So that's our output. Now, what's the pattern? If we're, we need to create a true-false trigger to multiply one of two numbers, well, Saturday and Sunday are 6 and 7. So we could say output of weekday anytime you are greater than 5. Double click and send that down. That's a logical formula that delivers one of two things true or false. We're going to use this formula up here inside of an if. So I'm going to say equals if. It's expecting a logical test, either true or false, that will deliver one of two things. Something if it's true, something if it's false. So I'm going to put weekday of this comma 2 greater than 5. All right, so that's the logical test. This little piece right here is a logical that only comes out true or false. Now I type a comma to get to the next screen tip. Value if true. Well, what do I want? I want the cell relative cell reference 1 to my left times the 15. And I need to lock that, so I hit my F4 key. Otherwise, I type a comma. What if it's false? This times 14. And I have to lock that one using the F4 key. All right, close. Um, Control, close, Control Enter. I'm going to use Control Shift 4. Control Shift 4 is the keyboard shortcut for currency. And then double click and send it down. All right, so you can see over here we did it by hand. Here it's automated. And then we can change this, right? So if we change this to the third, it better go up in value because now it should be multiplied by the 15. Now I'm going to Control Z on that. Now in this, this really is the formula, right? And there's there's other possibilities too, but this is nice, sweet, uh, to the point, using if to put one of two formulas. But I want to notice something here. In this case, for some reason, the only difference between these numbers is the number one. So an alternative formula, and this is kind of the esoteric side of Excel, because this formula is not going to work unless the difference is exactly one. But we, you know, let's check this out. How about equals this? times and in parentheses I'm going to put our logical test all right so our logical test is weekday of this comma 2 that's off the screen that is too bad let's see let's do it like this okay but that doesn't matter here okay off the, anyway I should not have done that anyway so we have our greater than 5. That's our logical test. Now, what does a logical test do? Before I do anything, let's just see 
true or false. If we put true or false, because that's all that's going to deliver into a formula that has an operator, true becomes 1, false becomes 0. Let's see. Here it's just taking the number. So it should be the number if it's a Saturday or Sunday and 0 if it's not. All right? Oh, OK. That's, that's interesting. Now what can we do? Now what do we know here, 0 or 1? Well, check this out. We can, inside of here, another parentheses, because we need that comparative operator, which happens at the very bottom of the order of precedence in Excel to calculate before anything else. So I have to actually put another parentheses here. That's That little thing inside the parentheses is going to deliver a 1 or a 0. And I'm going to go plus 14. All right. So now what's happening, I'm multiplying this times in parentheses, 14 plus 0 or plus 1. So when it's the weekend, this whole thing will be 15. When it's not the weekend, it will be, or Saturday and Sunday, it will be um, 14. All right, let's see if we get this to work. Double click and send it down, and then I'm going to Control Shift 4. And so there are our numbers. This is the preferred form because then these could be anything, right? It just happens to be that they are the difference is 1, so that little esoteric thing there can work in this circumstance. All right, see you next trick.